right, so this is how to do a mail merge or a bulk import in DocuSign to send a bunch of custom contracts or agreements to multiple people based on the information in a spreadsheet. So first, you probably want to start out in a Word document. And then I have some just generic text to put in here for agreement to participate with what will be some fields that will be filled in. We'll fill in the hospital field and the name and title, but we won't fill in the signature and we won't fill in the date, but these are all fields that we want populated. So we want to save that. And uh, agreement to participate, that sounds good. And so now we will go to DocuSign, DocuSign.com, log in with our credentials. Hopefully 1Password will enter it for you so you don't have to go searching for your credentials. And the first thing you want to do is create a template. So let's create a template, a new template, and we're going to call this Agreement to Participate March 2022. And you can give it a description And now we want to click on the Upload button, where we will find that Agreement to Participate document. And there you go. It's in there. DocuSign is really good. Now here's, this is important right here. You want to create a role. You can have multiple people signing it. You can say, I want the CEO to sign it, and I want the CFO to sign it, or whatever. So we're going to call this Signer one. You can call it anything you want. And since we're going to be doing a bulk import, we don't care about what information gets put into these fields because it's going to be coming from a spreadsheet. But we want it to base it off of signer one role. And this is in your email subject. Please sign NCHA's agreement to participate. All right, so we have that document that we put in here. So the name is easy. That's going to be the name of the person. That's easy to do. I'm just going to click on that and click there because that's where the name goes. Let's see where all these other things are going to come from. That's going to come from an Excel document, actually a CSV, comma separated value document. So let's open that. We're going to go to Excel. We're going to create a new document. And remember what I called that first role? It was signer one. So anything related to signer one needs to be prefaced in that first row with signer one. Then we do two colons. And then it, this is the field for signer one. So we're going to say name. So that's where the signer's name is going to go. So we'll give it a name. And then we want the hospital. So we're going to go signer one hospital. And that's going to be Taco Bellevue Hospital. Now, what else do we want? We want a job title. So signer one, their job title. Whoops. Make sure you put two colons. I see I didn't put it for hospital there. Uh, title, and I'm going to go and fix this one. Make sure you put those two colons. We don't need to fill in signature of participant. We don't need to fill in the date. Big boss, and this is going to be... Oh, and we need to do signer one email. Testy Testerson is at Test Hospital, and they're going to be Test CEO, and they're going to be, let me put another email that I use. So we have the signer's name, which is going to be their name there, the hospital, the title, the email address. Now, I have to save that not as an Excel document, 
but as a CSV file, comma, delimited. And so here we're going to say agreement to participate uh, merge folks. You can call it whatever you want. Just make sure it's a CSV file. Save that to our desktop. All right. Going back here, now we want to add the hospital. What's the field name? Hospital. So we want to add, this is a little tricky here, text field. And I'm going to stretch it so that it fits that whole size. And data label, we want to change this to hospital. Whatever the name of the field is here for signer 1, we want to call it here. And then these two are important where this we don't want them to type into that. It's a read-only field. So they can look at it, but they can't change it. We've got the president's name figured out. Now we're going to do a job title. And um, what did we call it here? We called for signer 1. The field name was title. So we're going to change the data label over here to title. And it's a required field, and they can change it. What if they change their CEO name to something else? And then we want them to sign it here. So that's where they're going to sign it. And then we want a date here. All right. So now we have our letter that we've imported from Word. We've added a field from our CSV file on import folks. We've added that, and that field is read only. We don't want them to change the hospital name. We've added the name. We've added the title, their job title. We're asking for a signature and we're asking for date signed. So our template is set up. Save and close. We're, we're part of the way there now. We want to create the campaign, so to speak. So I'm going to go to home. I'm going to start send an envelope. Kind of a strange name. So it's an envelope. It's an email. And we're going to use the template we created. And here's that bulk thing. And it's funny, it doesn't really highlight itself, but this is where you import the bulk list. And I'm going to tell you, I did a little bit of uh, editing here. I accidentally forgot to put yet again two colons between emails. So I went back into my uh, spreadsheet and added the two colons for signer one colon colon email. I had put just one colon. So here are the, uh, here's the recipients in that CSV file I set up with all the fields. I'm going to finish the import. And now this is, if you want to change what the email subject and email body was, you can change it here. Let's go to next. And now this is what we have. Unfortunately, preview does not do what I had hoped it would do. I was hoping it would show you a preview with the person's information in here. And it doesn't really do that. So what I would suggest doing is create a spreadsheet for testing it and send it to you and maybe one other person or you at NCHA and you at your personal email address, like a Gmail account or something, just to make sure it is what you want. So I've created the document I want. I've imported the people I want to go onto it and fingers crossed, everything should merge this way and send to those people. So I'm going to click send now. And it will warn you that it can take a while. And it just came in. Here it is, right here. I'm going to download those pictures. Actually, I'm going to just double click on it so we can see it. There it is. Review the document. In this email, you'll find a link. Green. So that's the text that I gave it. That's the uh, subject I gave it. This is all the stuff that DocuSign adds to it. I can review the document here. And that takes me to this page. I'm going to allow it to use my current location. And here is my document. I want to see, okay, Taco Bellevue Hospital. That's right. Oh, my title has changed to 
biggest boss, and I'm going to sign it right here. There's my signature, and it's sig signed today. Finish it. So that's what they see on their end. You're finished signing. Congratulations. And that is how you do a DocuSign bulk import.